Hey guys, today we are going to be learning about warm, cool, and neutral colors, and then we're going to be drawing a turkey. So first, let's review the warm, cool, and neutral colors. So we know our color groups. Our color groups, primary colors, secondary colors, but we also have cool, warm, and neutral. So our cool colors are colors like purple, blue, and green, and they look cool. When you're little and you learn those in class, we've always touched them and go burr, burr, burr. And then our warm colors on our color wheel look hot, look hot to the touch. So when you're little and we learn those, we touch them and we go woo hot, woo hot, woo hot. So we have yellow, orange, and red are our warm colors, purple, blue, and green are our cool colors, but we also have something called neutral colors. Neutral colors are colors that don't look hot, they don't look cold, they're just kind of in the middle. So down here it says, not hot, not cold in the middle. They're colors like brown, gray, or black. So we're going to use all three today in our picture. We're gonna use warm colors, we're gonna use neutral colors, and then a little bit of cool colors to add some contrast in the background. Contrast means a strong difference in the artwork. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. What you're gonna need for this is a pencil, and a piece of paper. If you don't have white paper at home, that's fine. You can use lined paper and that will be fine. All right, but I'm going to do this on a white piece of paper with a marker so you can see my lines. So if I mess up, I mess up, but I want you to do this with a pencil. That way, if you mess up, you can erase. We're gonna start with the turkey's beak. So close to the top third of the paper, we're gonna do kind of like a sideways V, okay? Next, we're gonna close that off with a slight curved line. And remember, if at any point I'm going too fast, just pause me. That's the good thing about having Miss Hoffman on a video. Next, we're gonna do the turkey's gobbler, and I think it's actually called a turkey's beard, but I'm not sure about that. But we're gonna go kind of start at the top of the beak right here, curve down a little bit, and then we're gonna make an organic shape, which is a natural shape that kind of curves around up to underneath its beak. When you color this in a little while, I'll show you the finished one, that will be the beak, will be orange or yellow, and then this gobbler or this turkey's beard will be colored in red, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and start with the top of the head. We're gonna start right here where the turkey's beard or the gobbler is. We're gonna curve up like a rainbow arch curve back down like rainbow arch. So it's gonna look just like curved line for a rainbow arch. Okay. Next, we're going to curve down to start the turkey's neck. And I'm gonna stop right there for a second. All right. Now we're gonna come around to the other side, kind of underneath the turkey's beard, and we're gonna make a slight curved line coming out for the turkey's chest. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add in the turkey's wing. So you can see we've got this part done, this part done, the head and neck done, the chest done. So now we're gonna go in and add this shape for the wing, okay? Remember to do this in pencil, that way if you mess up, you can erase. But it doesn't have to look just like mine. Not all turkeys look exactly alike, right guys? So we're gonna go kind of like a C shape right there to get it started. Bring it down, long. Bring it down, long. And then we're gonna close it up with kind of like U shapes. Letter U, letter U, letter U. Okay, connect it up. Now we're gonna add some details on the wing. Just adds a little bit more detail and fun to your picture. We're gonna go letter U, letter U, letter U, letter U. You can do a couple of those, that way you can color that in orange or red, add some warm colors to it. Letter U, letter U, letter U, letter U. Kind of like drawing scales on a fish or scales on a mermaid tail. Some of you have drawn those before. All right, and when you color that in a little while, you can add different values of brown. Values is the lightness or darkness of a color. In order to do that, I colored some in with crayon and some in with marker so I could have a light brown value and a dark brown value. And you can add those little details in with orange or red or yellow to add some warm colors in. Next, we're going to go ahead, 
bring the turkey's leg down to about, or belly down to about right there. Draw a line right there. We're gonna do two lines down for its leg. If you have enough room to draw a turkey's foot, you can, I just kind of ran out. All right, draw some little toes on there if you have room. And then you can bring it up into the feather, tail feather. Then two other lines down for the other leg. If you have room, you can draw line going out this way, back in, line going out this way, back in for the toes. Just kind of ran out of room there. Next, we're gonna go ahead and draw the turkey's feathers. We're gonna start down here behind its uh, wing. And we're gonna go out, back in like a long skinny rainbow arch. Out. Back in. Out. Back in. Out. Back in. Out. Back in. Kind of like drawing petals on a flower. And you're going to continue to do that all the way around. Okay, so you feel like you got a good tail going all the way around. Now you can go back in and add some little lines where at the ends of the tails. So that way you can add some warm color at the tip of the tail. Maybe you even want an orange stripe and a yellow stripe. You can do a couple of stripes on each one or just one. That's up to you. All the way around. It's nice to add details to your picture. This will give you another opportunity to add in some warm fall colors into your picture. Okay. Now, our turkey is missing something important here, missing an eye. So you can draw your eye any way you want, any type of cute little cartoon eye that you like to draw. I'm just going to do a circle or an oval with a black dot. Keeping it simple for this turkey, okay? Alright, now this turkey is in the foreground. We have learned before lots of times that we have foreground, middle ground, and background. So for example, this tree is in the foreground. It is large, okay? Then we have this tree that is in the middle ground. You can tell it's behind the other tree because it's slightly smaller and this one is overlapping it. Then we have this tree that is in the background, and you tell it's in the background because it's itty bitty like a little piece of broccoli, and it's overlapping. So we have foreground, middle ground, background. And we've learned those terms in class before. And if uh, these are some of my friends at my school that I've just switched to, you a lot of you have learned those terms last year. So this turkey is in the foreground. I'm gonna put the ground underneath uh, his feet and he's in the foreground. You can add a hill behind him with some trees if you wanted to, to make it look like the middle ground. Or you can just keep it simple with just the turkey, add some little details up in the foreground like this, like the pumpkin. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a little hill in the background. Don't draw your hill through your turkey. Maybe there's a tree back here of like the shape of a letter Y. You can add some sticks and branches on your tree after you kind of get that Y shape in. All right, and you have just an extra opportunity to add some more fall colors in your picture. Maybe there's even a hill farther behind with another tree that's way far away. Just add some depth to your picture. But that is up to you on my original. I just kept it with a simple pumpkin in the background. You could even just leave it as your turkey. You add any details that you want to make it custom to the way you want it to look. I'm gonna leave this here for a second. You can pause it so you can see how to color your turkey. I colored it in with browns, oranges, and yellows, and reds, so our warm colors and our neutral colors. And then I put a little pop of cool color in the background for the blue to add a little contrast to make them stand out even more. Hope you like this. Have fun, guys. Share them with me if you made them.